for the creation was subjected to fertility, not willing, but because of hope, because of him who subjected it in hope, because creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation, what? Groans in what? Labors with what? Birth pangs. Ah! Together until now. In other words, you are groaning within you. The creation is groaning to be delivered from corruption. And you're groaning to birth the kingdom of God. More and more. And anything that pertains to God's kingdom. Hallelujah. <laughs> Verse 23. Not only that, but we are we also who have the first fruits of the spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? Oh, hallelujah. See, one of our jobs is to make the unseen to become seen in our life. Amen. We're to, we're to expose, we're to make everything that's unseen to become seen so there'll be those who don't like this message because they're convicted good i pray that you'll turn away from darkness and come to the light and start birthing the things of god instead of the things of the devil this is a good day to turn things around amen hey listen w w the world celebrates mother's days and father's day right well every day ought to be mother's day and father's day for me and you because we give glory to the Father. Amen? We give glory to the King of glory. And we are the bride that is giving birth to his kingdom. Oh, hallelujah. How wonderful it is. Is everybody okay? Hallelujah. Let's go a little further here. Let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Second Corinthians chapter five. Is everybody there? Everybody okay? You still love me? Good. You gotta. You got no choice. <laughs> you might not like me, but you gotta love me. <laughs> <laughs> in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 let's read it together <laughs> therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation old things have what passed away behold all things have been become new well that ought to give you a good sign where you're at if you're still out serving the devil something ain't right he was in, in Christ in Christ Christ meaning in the anointing the anointing. How's the anointing come? By the Holy Spirit. So now we have the anointing of Christ. The Spirit of Christ. The breath of God Almighty that dwells within me and you. That brings us and allows us into the eternal realm. No longer under the authority of the Prince of Power of Darkness. The Prince of Power of Air. But now we are under the authority of the Prince. The Peace of Prince. Prince of Peace. Yeah. Amen. Let's go a little further. I love this. Now, in verse 18, now all what? All things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Christ Jesus and having given us a ministry of reconciliation. Well, how is somebody going to get reconciled? You got to birth it. What happens to them? They get born again. So it's your job to plant the seed, to be the example, to pray those things in. Why? So that that individual can be reconciled to God Almighty. Verse 20. Oh, no, let's go uh, 18. That is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors of Christ as though God were what? Is anybody reading this with me? Uh, pleading what? As God was pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be what? Reconciled to God. That's what this is about today. Get reconciled. 
get born again get right and begin to birth the things of Christ instead of the things of the devil for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him I'm going to close at one scripture John 3 first John 3 first John 3 obedience to what birth 